Were you ever scared that it wouldn't work out? Yes, I was very scared too many times. America has always been associated with making it, but is this opportunity accessible to all? I'm Scott Shigeoka, Go Daddy's entrepreneur in residence, and I'm on a journey across the country meeting the people who are building it. They're defying the odds, and their stories show us what it means to be made in America. So today we're meeting Consuelo. We're gonna go to her house. We're gonna talk more about her story. Hey, Consuelo. Hey, good to see you again. Good to see you again. <laughs> Thanks for having me in your home. I really appreciate that. Do you want a hug? Yeah. <laughs> she is an owner of a cleaning business. She is an immigrant. She is an incredible person. And you'll come to find that she has this deep resilience to overcome the circumstances that she's in. Um, I'm so happy to have this conversation with you. Thank you. What was your journey to today like? I was a housekeeper for probably 13 years. And one day I decided to start a business to be the owner. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Uh, two years ago, uh, I was married in a no good uh, situation, no good marriage. And um, I was in an abuse relationship, and this business helped me to get out. And when I get my first clients, I feel like I can do it by myself. Ten minutes, okay? Voy a cambiarte, okay? You know, Consuelo is a survivor of domestic violence, and unfortunately, that's a story that rings true for a lot of people. And she's, you know, entrepreneurship to gain independence and get out of that relationship and create a safer and a better life for herself and for her kids. Like, what was going through your mind, and how did you actually make the leap? Estos son todos los papeles que me dieron la última vez que hubo una situación de violencia doméstica. Hay un plan de escape que tienen las instituciones para violencia doméstica, pero creo que mi plan de escape fue la economía, porque yo era suficientemente fuerte para poder dejarlo y denunciar si había un maltrato pero no era fuerte en la economía. Entonces mi plan de escape fue iniciar una compañía. Dale la mano a Alfonso. Yes. She wakes up at 5 a.m., she schleps all of her stuff, her kids, and she cleans these houses and these commercial spaces. And she used to do that every day, but now as a business owner, what is happening is she's doing that less and less. Lo que yo he experimentado al haber sido empleada y a la hora comenzar el negocio es que yo puedo crear mi propio calendario conforme a mi familia, sobre todo mis hijos que aún son pequeños, y que yo veo que hay la posibilidad de ganar más que un salario. Quizás ahora me está costando un poquito eh, porque estoy aprendiendo a, a llevar un negocio, pero creo que hay una gran diferencia para una tranquilidad para un futuro. You're kind of shifting roles right now, right? Like you used to go and clean, but now you've hired yes. other people. I was working probably 13, 13 hours in a day by myself. And now I'm probably clean just two hours or four hours, depends. So I am start to work less physical, but more business work. A tiempo antes, para mí decir que yo limpiaba, que era una housekeeper, no me hacía sentir tan, tan bien. Pero en el momento en el que yo lo cambio a, a negocio es cuando yo comienzo a sentirme mejor. Yo he descubierto que, que la limpieza es algo que siempre se va a necesitar en un tiempo malo, en un tiempo bueno. When you have stereotypes placed against your industry, that's opportunity for you to grow. Because that means other people are not paying attention. 
to where the openings are. And so this is really smart for people that are thinking about getting into an industry where they think the stereotype is going to be low or you're worried about how people are going to perceive you. Don't worry about that. Go in full on because you see something that others don't and you're gonna excel because of that. What are some of the things you wanna do with your business? So I have to find a name for the business. I, I want to create my website that I'm realized that it's very important to create a website, especially for commercials and industrial. They're going to see me more professional and I can show to more people my work. Hi, Consuelo. Hi. So you're wanting to start a website, which is awesome. It's best to understand, like, really, what's the purpose of your website? Let's, so tell me about some of the goals that you have for it. I think I can reach more people with this. When people come to our website, I want them to feel like they can trust us. I am trying to get more commercial clients, and I think a website can help me. Perfect. Have you ever built a website before? Do you have any experience with it? I'm a little bit nervous uh, to do it by myself. So I would recommend just starting off with a home page and a contact page, and then build on from there as you find time. Porque estamos hablando de que no tengo una educación alta. Estuve a punto de terminar la high school, pero no la, no la he terminado. Estamos hablando de que el inglés mío no es tan amplio. No sé cómo a, a manejar un negocio, no sé cómo hablar de negocios. Entonces yo realmente necesito esta. Bye. What other kinds of struggles or hardships? English. Not only for the business, for, for, for help my kids, for do the life. But I'm working on it. Consuelo. We're doing a little activity this morning. Okay. Today is my second class. My goal is to get my GD and working more in my English in one year. But if it takes me longer than one year, I'm going to stay. For my own knowledge, I need it. And I want to prove, even if we are older, even if we pass for a hard situations, even if we think we don't need it for just cleaning, we don't know what's going on never in the future. Being an immigrant and trying to find opportunity can be tough. You start looking for, well, how will I create an income? And what am I passionate about? What can I do? When you don't have opportunity readily available to you, you have to start inventing and you have to start becoming innovative. And so I think that more people that are coming to this country or more people that are starting in this country that have language barriers, they have to really think through, what are the options that I have in order to create an income? They always come back to entrepreneurship. As an immigrant, nobody told me that I can do something else besides clean a restaurant. That's only two options when I come here. So no one ever told you, like, you can be an entrepreneur? Nobody told you that you can do your own business or do something that you really like it. Were you ever scared that it wouldn't work out? Yes, I was very scared too many times because when you are divorced, you think you're going to fall. And if you fall, it's another mistake in your life. And now I think, and I feel, and I'm pretty sure, each mistake that I going go through, I going to learn on that and do better next time. This is the house that I still live. Uh, when I have to leave, my husband, my ex-husband, was uh, I was living in there per year. We are sleeping in that one mattress, me and my three kids. Uh, all of you on one All of you on one mattress. mattress. The reason because I show you this house is you can see the progress that I have, that I made by myself after that hard situation and I start the business. Yeah, that's beautiful, right? Yeah. So this is a reminder to you when you yes. pass by it of how far you've come. It was really hard because I don't realize on that moment that I can do things. I don't realize that I'm good for something. Uh, I just have to take the only thing that I think I'm good for and work around that. And now I'm discovering this business process. I'm discovering that I'm good for many things that surprise myself. You started to realize, actually, I am really good. I'm really good, yes. <laughs> and uh, I can teach them with my example. As a woman survivor of domestic violence, I have the responsibility to teach my sons 
the woman can be a powerful too. I always to have better life, but I never think I can do my own business. And now you're proving that you can. Yes. Yeah. I have now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like really, Im I'm proud and impressed mm -hmm. and just so excited for you. Thank you. Know? you. I'm not scared anymore to get more clients. I'm so excited to get more clients. I'm ready for that. The way that her life is evolving now looks so much closer to what she wants for herself and for her family. And that's what entrepreneurship is. That's what it's about. It's about moving towards a life that you envision. Consuelo wants to grow bigger. She wants to scale. And right now, she's doing a lot of learning. I think she's in a trial by fire kind of moment. And so I'm excited to you know, come back in a couple of weeks and see how that evolves. Stay with me as I cross America sharing the stories of communities who don't have the same access that others do. And I hope to share and contribute in the ways that I can, and I know that I'll learn a lot along the way too. Getting a business going doesn't happen in a day, and that's why I'm going back to check in on Consuelo and Sequoia. Sequoia's got a big day at Memphis Pride, and Consuelo is getting more established in her business. I hope you'll join me.